Chris Gale, who celebrated his 37th birthday this week, is now in the middle of a major celebration in his native Jamaica, including a series of fundraisers as well as the relaunch of his book. Gale says he will assess his future in the game shortly with an already limited schedule for the rest of the year. But he did express surprise that the WICB cut ties with Phil Simmons. Um, it was very surprising, uh, um, to be honest with you. Um, you know, what happened there, I actually came off a flight and I saw a text from Darren and said, the hey, coach has been sacked. And I was like, I was just laughing. I said, you gotta, it's a joke, you know. But, you know, we had a meeting in the States and then to see something like that, you know, would mean just sad and they have the reason why they have done that. You know, but, you know, Phil is, Phil is a big man and, you know, you, you will move on and I'm sure you will actually have different ventures and different things of him. Well, I'll be playing a few games um, November. I'm targeting to play some games um, in Bangladesh. Um, then I might play um, a game in New Zealand. That's for this year. Not too much cricket for this year. I definitely want to spend Christmas home you know, with my family. Well, no Andrew Russell and no Chris Gale, but no problem for the West Indies as they get ready to face Pakistan in three T20 internationals starting tomorrow. The Windies does still have the luxury of depth and reputation as the undisputed kings of the shortest format of the game, having won the T20 World Cup twice. Dwayne Bravo has the second most T20 wickets this year with 63, second only to Russell. Opener Evan Lewis's good, recent good form should see him start the innings with Johnson Charles to form a dynamic and dangerous left-hand, right-hand combination. Meanwhile, newcomers Rovman Powell and Nicholas Puran are battling for a middle-order spot left vacant in the absence of Lendl Simmons. Pakistan has lost seven of their 12 T20 internationals this year, while the West Indies have won seven out of eight.